Hi, welcome back. Last week we looked at speech as it pertains to the spoken word. Today we'll focus on the written word. Hello, good people. My name is Janice, your host here at Dignity, Human Rights, and Daily Life. Thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, welcome. After watching this video, I invite you to check out this playlist and please consider subscribing. Let's begin by revisiting the pertinent law. Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech. This series covers the spoken and written words separately because the term speech, as articulated in the First Amendment, is an umbrella term when referring to slander, spoken words, and libel, written words. Defamation is a term that also encompasses both slander and libel, terms that are often used interchangeably. These legal terms are defined as follows. A defamatory statement published to a third party, which the speaker knew or should have known was false, that causes injury to the subject of the communication. Let's revisit South Park Susan. Had she, instead of dialing 911 and giving a spoken false statement to the police, let's say she went down to the police station and filled out a police complaint. Let's further say that the police in turn arrested the two sisters. Then what South Park Susan would have done would have been tantamount to libel because her defamatory statement, meaning her police complaint, was published to a third party, the police, which she knew was false and resulting in injury to the sisters as a result of having been arrested. These elements apply whether a written defamatory statement is sent by UPS, DHL, or USPS. Then there's the question of internet defamation. This may occur in the form of an oral or written statement communicated through email, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, blogs, or news feeds, and can cause the same injury as a defamatory statement communicated through traditional methods. Cleve Clinton is a law partner at Gary Reed and McGraw LLP. Check out his article, Keeping a Good Name, Protecting Yourself from Internet Defamation. I posted a link to the article in the description below. Next week, we'll look at defamation and the press. Check out the beginning of this series here. Mark hashtag Team Dignity in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And in the meantime, be well and remember to live your life with dignity. Bye-bye.